Hey, I want to ask you a question this morning. Do you trust the polls? So much that we're hearing today comes down to polls, uh, people taking questions, taking numbers of the country. Do you trust polls? Well, you may, you may not, but someone says, well, numbers don't lie. Of course they don't lie. Have you ever heard a number lie? Have you ever heard a number talk? Numbers don't lie. People lie, and oftentimes they use numbers to do it. Now, there's a difference between knowing the facts and knowing what to make of the facts, and those are two very important things. So it's important to know facts, but all of us know a lot of, know someone who is very smart. They have a lot of facts, but they don't know when to come in out of the rain. That is to say, they don't have wisdom. They don't have discernment. They don't know how to use what facts they may have. So the question this morning is, what are you counting and why? Numbers chapter 1 begins by God taking the sum, God taking the number. Numbers are important. You may or may not be a numbers person, but numbers are significant. And we count what matters to us. In uh, Numbers chapter 1, verse 2, the Bible says that God said to Moses, Take ye the sum, you know, you're adding numbers, take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel after their families by the house of their fathers with the number of their names, every male by their poles. Um, then it goes on to say, from 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. So what are you counting and why? You know, we, we count what we wish to control. So if you're counting calories right now, it's because they matter and you're trying to control them. Are you counting, you know, are you counting uh, statistics? Are you taking poll of the American people? It's because you... you you want to know something, but often it's because you want to control something. Uh, what about the you know days? Do you do you have a calendar? Do you, do you count days? Well, of course you do. I have a couple friends right now that are soon to be married, and uh, they're counting the days. They can tell you exactly how many days until they are married. Why? Because they there, there's some control over which uh, they wish to have. Uh, they wish to have over over numbers, dollars. Do you count dollars? Of course you do. Why? Because dollars are important to you and because you wish to have control over them, perhaps. So just three things to break down Numbers chapter 1. One is the context, and the context is national. It's a nation. Uh, it is God's chosen people, Israel, through whom he'll bring the Messiah. The unit, which is very instructive, is the family. The, the family is the molecular unit of any healthy society. Uh, in verse 2, we're... Moses was to take the sum of the children of Israel. Well, what do we mean by children of Israel? Do we mean like a bunch of kids under 10 years of age? No, we're talking about offspring of Israel, of Jacob, whose name became Israel. And this was a family, and now centuries later, it's a nation, a, a teeming host of people. So children of Israel, the, is that a nation or is that a family? And the answer is yes. And the, the foundation of the nation is the is society at the molecular level, which is the family. The children of Israel after their families, by the house of their fathers. So everything just points to family. That's very important. That is one of the things that are, is being undermined in our culture today, including in, in many polls. Um, when, the, when the family fails to be what it, it should be, uh, the next institution, in this case the state, is going to come in and, and try to do everything that the family is is not doing, is, is the responsibilities that is it is abdicating. And the purpose, quite frankly, of this poll was war. It was an army. In other words, it was a common purpose and a common protection. So that's just the, the, the framework of what, you know, what I'm going to read, what we're going to read in Numbers. And let me encourage you to bring your Bible when you, when you come, just so you can see what the Bible actually says. So I think the question today, there could be a lot of questions, but my question today is what matters to you? What matters to you? Someone say, well, says, well, numbers don't matter. Let's take the, the framework of a church, you know? How many people are in church today? Well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just matters that the people are here. Or souls matter. Well, that indeed is true. God sees every person individually, and that matters. But because individuals matter, how many individuals matters also. Now, that can be excessive. Sometimes... People can just care about numbers and having a big church, but look, do you count the offering? I mean, do you, do you want to know how much money came in last week? Well, you have to know. You do need to know. So if, if money is important, certainly people are important. We need to count those things. So uh, what about in your own personal life? You're counting calories or days or dollars or whatever. 
none of those things are wrong. All those may be good. They may very well be beneficial. But what matters to you? Well, what are you counting? You know, what you count indicates what matters to you. So numbers do matter. And you might just take a moment today and think to yourself, what am I actually counting? Am I counting days, dollars, calories? Um, what am I counting? What matters to me? Because what matters to you is indicated by what it is that you count.